Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to this wonderful Sunday, the very first day of the month of September 2019. The month is starting on a Sunday, God's Day, and it shall be a blessed month for you in the name of Jesus. Our topic today is the power of divine encounter. The Bible tells us, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush burnt with fire and the bush was not consumed. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 2, thought for the day. It takes an encounter to count in life. Divine encounter is the meeting of humanity with divinity. It's a man's meeting with an experience of his maker. It is a meeting of the terrestrial with the celestial. It is important to note that one divine encounter can settle a person's life forever. One encounter of divinity on humanity can settle a life forever. For example, Abraham was a generational failure that now became a generational success at the instance of divine encounter. He was a non-entity that became a celebrity by just one encounter in Genesis 15, one to five. At the age of 75, Abraham was still in his father's house and he was also childless with no results, but he had gotten an encounter with God that now turned everything around. So beloved, please note the following point. First of all, it takes an encounter to account for your life on earth. It takes an encounter to account for your existence, to confirm that you are not a waste or that God did not waste his time creating you. Number two, it takes an encounter to count in life. There are people who are alive but cannot be counted. There are people whose contributions are not regarded. But people who have divine encounters cannot be disregarded. Number three, it takes an encounter to counter the agenda of the enemy. It takes an encounter with God to put the devil where he belongs. Moses was on the run when he was declared wanted by Pharaoh. But after the burning bush encounter, he went and confronted the very same Pharaoh and Pharaoh could not hurt him. Beloved, it does not matter what is against you. When you encounter God, the agenda of your enemies shall be countered in the name of Jesus. So desire an encounter with, desire an encounter with God. Remember this, that it takes an encounter to count in life. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment? Number one, make demands on divine encounter at the place of prayer with desperation. And number two, live a life of worship and sacrifice to God. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, oh Lord, I need an encounter with you. Overwhelm me with your presence and counter the agenda of hell that is around my life and transform me completely, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm sure that you prayed that prayer and you meant it. I'm going to pray for somebody before we close who wants to make Jesus the Lord of his or her life. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to wash away your sins. Simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I've sinned against you. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life and be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I turn my back on the devil and I will live to please the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I'd like to encourage you to follow up this prayer by getting planted in a Bible-believing church and let God mold you and transform your life. And also, don't forget to go through your Bible reading and see how far you can go. If you've slacked behind for any reason, please try and catch up in this month of September. And I know that the Lord will bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week ahead. And have a wonderful month ahead. In Jesus' name. God bless you.
up late after 